In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create free, easy music video transitions in After Effects. And for this tutorial, I've been analyzing all of the new popular music videos out there and trying to analyze like what transitions are they using mostly. And I'll be getting a clear idea of what the most famous music videos are using as transitions. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be pretty simple for my kind of videos. So if you're searching for something more advanced, I have a all-in-one bundle which makes you more advanced without it being more advanced. You literally just drag and drop in presets, textures, and it includes all of my editing packs for the fraction of the actual price. So the link to it's going to be at the top of the description. Now let's start making the transitions. So here we have the one frame flash transition here. I'm going to be showcasing it on this footage here. If you guys are wondering what settings I'm using, I'm using FHD with 24 FPS. So yeah, the basic uh, resolution I would say. And for this, this is the most popular transition and easily the most easiest and simplest uh, transition you guys are going to be able to make. So what I'm missing in this famous music video, it's called Door by Saint. He's using this flash transition here, as you guys see, just one frame flash transition there. So how to create that, I'll just make a new solid layer. I'm gonna make the color white, press OK. Then just make a one frame, just cut it by pressing Ctrl Shift D, then just make it one frame. So now, if we play it, we be having this kind of fast flash. And this, I would say, it gives a little bit more focus on the videography and the actual kind of filming art. Uh, instead of, you know, <laughs> putting a bunch of effects onto the footage. This is displaying the more clean, raw video look here. Uh, and looks super, super clean. You can just add it to the next one. And then to the end. I like to add it... Uh, one frame before the uh, clip changes. So it looks something like this now. And you guys, depending on the video, you guys can change the tone of the flash. It doesn't need to be completely 100% white. You can make a new solid layer. This music video, for example, is more, more on the warmer side, I would say. So if you guys want, you can go a little bit to the orange yellow here, just drag it to get this kind of color here instead. Press OK and having that as a flash. So it's still so bright that it's going to look like a flash. It might fit the uh, music video a little bit more depending on the uh, yeah color look you guys have on it. Uh, so that's a idea you guys could be using for it. And you guys can also be playing around with the black and white switching here. So for example, if we want it to uh, black out, say here. So press Ctrl Shift D and then delete this. So it's going to be blacking out and then flashing in again. Boom, something like that. Looks very, very clean. Now moving on to the next transition and I'm going to be showing you guys a flicker transition you guys could be using for the music videos. It's super, super easy to make and it's super, super clean as well. So what you're going to be doing is basically add a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here I would go, I mean for this, half of the clip. So something like that. And then do the same for the other side. Something like that. Cut it. Control Shift D to cut it. And if you guys want to have a frame reference, this is 18 frames long, this adjustment layer. So nine frames on each clip here. So what we're going to be adding here is an effect called Sapphire Flicker here. And this is easily one of the coolest flickering effects you guys can be adding to a adjustment layer. Uh, and here I'm basically going to be increasing the amplitude to 10. So we get this insanely strong flickering here. And then in the middle here, press the clock to a keyframe it. Go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the end, set it to zero there as well. Then we can rename this to flicker transition, something like that. Then open the layer up, effects, flicker. Mark the keyframes here, press F9. And then we can open up the graph and here I'm gonna make a simple sharp graph. So just drag this one all the way to the middle here. This one in like that, in like that, this on the other side in like that as well. So it's going to be slow in the beginning and then fast towards the transition point which is here. It's going to look something like that. And the sharp graph, why we're even adding that is to make a little bit more impact to our transition. So it looks something like this now. Very, very clean. 
and you can just press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then add it to the next clip there. So we get this kind of clean flickering transition here. It looks super, super clean, super easy to make and works perfect for music videos. Now for the last transition in this tutorial here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this flash clips transition, I'm calling it. And as you guys might have seen, and this is very popular to use as a transition, you're basically transitioning super fast between multiple small clips to then go towards a much longer clip after that. And having the two main clips here, so it's these two clips I want to uh, make a transition in between. And for this, you kind of need to have some more footage uh, to be able to make this uh, transition. Uh, so here I've added three more small clips. They look something like this here. So I'm adding these in between here. And these are five frame long each clip here. So it's going to be making this kind of fast cutting here. So it's going to look kind of like this. And this now looks pretty terrible, not gonna lie here. It looks pretty terrible. So what we're doing now is basically to make a small zoom in uh, over these three clips here. So I'm going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Press and then press Ctrl Shift D to cut it. Do it here again, Ctrl Shift D. And now it's just going to be covering our small clips here. Here we're going to be adding a transform. And then keyframe the scale here at 100 in the beginning. Then go to the end here of the adjustment layer and then set it to 200. So the scale doubles. But now we can see we get this kind of zoom zoom in effect on our uh, clips here which looks much better than before and now all you have to do for the clips here is basically to adjust the transform settings to get the uh, look on each clip you guys want so so here if i start with the first clip here i want to increase the scale to get rid of the black bars and then maybe reposition our artists here a little bit something like that so now the first clip looks something like this now that looks good. Now we can go to the second one. Here I could zoom in a little bit, change the position a little bit. Then when you're satisfied, go to the last clip, open up transform. Here I want to zoom out a little bit. Do something like this, zoom in, something like that. Quick customizations. And now when we play it, we get this look here. Dun dun dun. And now I'm just visually showing what you guys could be making. If this is a real music video, you guys probably have this synced uh, to the beat. This transition here, this is how it looks. Looks super, super good. And now as I showed in the first transition, we can just simply just add a solid layer. Solid, make it white. Boom, cut it, make it one frame. Just like that, and then press Ctrl D. Add it before each small clip transition here. Something like that, super easy. And now when we play it, we get this kind of look here insanely insanely clean transition that works super super good for music videos and it's as you guys have seen super easy to make as well so i hope you guys learned some valuable transitions you guys could be using for your next music videos and if you guys want to have something more advanced i have the all one bundle as i mentioned in the beginning of the video which includes all of my packs for a fraction of the actual price and it's super, super easy to use. You simply just apply a editing asset with a single drag and drop. Can't get more simple than that. And a link to the all-in-one bundle is going to be at the top of the description. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.